Today I'm making chop suey, which is an American Chinese dish, but not to be confused with American chop suey, which is a totally different recipe altogether, but with the same common name. Are you confused yet? There are many theories on where and who created chop suey, but nobody knows for sure other than a Chinese chef created it here in America in the late 20th century. Either way, the importance of this dish is it's really easy to make and delicious. So let's get started. You can use any kind of meat for chop suey you like, but today I'm using chicken thighs. So in a large bowl, combine chicken thighs with Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine and oyster sauce. Then give it a good mix. Then add cornstarch. Then give it a good mix until all the cornstarch is absorbed. Now let this marinate for about 15 minutes, or you can wrap it in plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for an hour or so. Normally I use a wok when I'm making Chinese food, but I get a lot of people asking, can they use a skillet instead of a wok since they don't have a wok? So today I'm gonna to show you, yes you can use a skillet. And the food's gonna come out exactly the same as if you used a wok. The biggest benefit to a wok is the high walls. You can move food around a lot easier while stir frying than you can in a skillet. But if you're careful with a skillet, you can keep it all in there without making a big mess. In a large skillet over medium high heat, add vegetable oil, and then the marinated chicken. Then spread it out into an even layer and don't touch it for 30 seconds. If you'd like a full printable copy of this recipe with a full list of ingredients and easy to follow directions, visit thewolfpit.com. Then add minced garlic and stir fry for about a minute. After stir frying for a minute, add sliced celery and sliced bok choy. And I'm just using the bottom white part right now. Now stir fry for about a minute or a little bit longer if you like your vegetables more tender. I like mine a little crisp. Then add green onion and I'm using the bottom white part and the middle green part. sliced bell pepper, snow peas that I've trimmed and cut in half, and mushrooms. Then stir fry for another minute or so. Then add thinly sliced julienne carrots, and these only take about a minute or so to cook. If you use bigger pieces of carrots, add them when you add the celery and onions. And fresh, homegrown, store-bought bean sprouts. Straight out of the can. There are three grocery stores around me and none of them ever have fresh bean sprouts. If you can find fresh bean sprouts, use them. But in a pinch, the canned ones are okay. Give that a real quick mix. Then add the top green parts of the bok choy. and the green onions. A little salt and white pepper. Give it a quick mix. Then add chicken broth. And oyster sauce. Give it a good mix and bring it up to a light boil. And finally, let's tighten up the sauce with a little bit of cornstarch slurry, which is equal parts cornstarch and cold water. Give it a mix and it will immediately thicken. And there you have it, American Chinese chopped suey. Serve it over rice or noodles. This recipe is not limited to the vegetables that I put in it, and you certainly don't have to use all of the vegetables that I did put in it. Make it with your favorite meat and vegetables. After all, you're going to be the one eating it, so that's really all that matters. 
As most of you already know, I love to eat and make Chinese food. So if there's any Chinese dishes you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.